events. Presumably that would have some bearing on armed police officers responding to an event in which a lot of armed and untrained teachers are trying to defend students in a school. Yeah, it's the, well, it's a very important point. Uh, two years ago in Baltimore City, an on-duty officer in plain clothes was shot by uniformed on-duty personnel, and they worked the same shift. It's just in the darkness of the night they couldn't tell. And as Captain Kelly has, has pointed out, that that's a major issue in, in the Tucson shooting. And, Ms. Trotter, quick question. Sarah McKinley, in defending her home, used a Remington 870 Express 12-gauge shotgun that would not be banned under the statute, correct? Under the proposed statute. I don't remember what type of weapon she used. Well, trust me, that's what it was, and it would not be banned under the statute. So it doesn't... I think it proves the point that with ordinary firearms, not 100 magazine peculiar uh, types of artifacts, um, people are quite capable of defending themselves. In fact, that was your example. I respectfully disagree. I understand that you were also a graduate of the University of Virginia School of Law, and you were close to Monticello, where Thomas Jefferson penned our Declaration of Independence, and close to Montpelier, where James Madison was instrumental in drafting the Bill of Rights. And I think you can understand that as a woman, I think it's very important not to place undue burdens on our Second Amendment right to choose to defend ourselves. Oh, I, have I don't know what, I have I don't no know what weapon she used. Point. My but point is that the example you used is one that would not bear an argument against the proposal that is before us because that Remington 870 Express is a weapon that would be perfectly allowed. So would it have been unreasonable for her to use a different gun to protect her child? I think that if she was using a 100 weapon, let me put it another way, she would clearly have an adequate ability to protect her family How can without you say the that? need for a 100 round piece. How can you of say weaponry. that? You, you are a large man. And you are not a teenage, a tall, tall man. You are not a young mother who has a young child with her. And I am passionate about this, this position because you cannot understand. You are not a woman stuck in her house having to defend her children, not able to leave her child, not able to go seek safety, on the phone with 911. And she cannot get the police there fast enough to protect her child. And, and she's not simply, used to being in a firefight. Uh, and my point simply is that she did it adequately and successfully with lawful firearms and without the kind of firepower that was brought to bear so that the 12th, 13th, 14th shots could be fired by the man who shot. Okay, but the I'm going to have to, and I'll let you go back to another.